Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and having a great weekend. If it's a weekend or whenever you're watching this, I know you could watch this on any weekday. Um, for me, it's a Saturday and I am thirsty. I just woke up. I'm serving you a little no makeup look, <laughs> but don't worry that is not gonna be the case in all my videos. As you guys know, I think in my last video where I was saying like how to heal from a relationship, Oh, I didn't have any foundation on, but you know, I had lipstick on. I was gonna say I was beat. I was fully beat, but nope. Anyways, so today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a review of this amazing product that you've probably seen on TikTok. I know it was a TikTok trend, but I found out about it on Instagram. But even on Instagram, they were saying that it was a big trend on TikTok. But that's not why i wanted to try it i wanted to try it because the results i saw of these girls lips like and just a little disclaimer i love my thin top lip like i'm totally okay with myself if i wanted to have a thicker top lip i would have been gotten injections botox it's really actually not that much to get the temporary botox that lasts for like six months so if i had wanted that i really could have scraped up to make it happen but I genuinely like the way my lips are. Sometimes I do just want that little extra umph. Like, I'm not gonna lie, my bottom lip is big already, so I don't really need the extra umph on my bottom lip, but sometimes I want the extra umph on my top lip, so a little pucker. But I don't wanna go all the way like what happens with surgery. So, in the future, I'm not gonna lie, I might try the temporary Botox on the lips for six months. That sounds so bad to admit that. <laughs> Please and I'm probably not gonna do it. I, I like my lips. Let's just leave it at that. But I like that this could give me a little bit of an extra umph without surgery. And give me that little extra pucker, you know? And there's other products out there that do that. But I'm, you know, this review is on this product. It's the D-Roll. D-Roll Day and Night Double Effect Lip Plumper. And you know, it comes with a day side which is this yellow bad boy and then a night side which is the clear bad boy i'm not gonna lie i don't always wear the night one but i usually start my mornings with the day one to give that pucker look and moisturize it does like a double effect to moisturize my lips and get them volumized before because what i do is like once it stops tingling and burning i'm get a napkin or a tissue and i Get the take the product off completely and then i put a lip balm on and a lipstick or a lip balm and a lip gloss but as you can tell i always start with a lip balm i figured out that's like a good primer for my lips like even if you're gonna put a lip gloss on there's something about putting a lip balm on and letting the lip balm sit for like five minutes before you put the lip gloss on or the lipstick that makes either one stay better like it sets it sits it's just sitting like it sits way better so um i got the whole studio up and running i didn't feel like getting rid of those clothes in the background so just ignore it and but overall so my review okay it has a picture of this white girl's lips and it shows her regular lip from the top and then with the lip gloss how it just gives it that extra little um like that little plump so I'm gonna put it on for you guys. I do just want to let you guys know that my review is 10 out of 10. I, well, actually no, my review is like nine out of 10. I really enjoy the product. It did what I thought it was gonna do, but I will say the reason that it's not 10 out of 10, the reason it's nine out of 10 is because the tingle, I thought it would last a little longer and maybe that's toxic. It shouldn't last longer than it does. The tingle lasts for about almost 10 minutes, but not quite, so maybe like seven minutes. So you get a good like five minutes of your lips are literally on fire. And just a disclaimer, I don't know everyone's pain tolerance. It doesn't hurt, but it may be more intense for some people than others. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and show you the effect for me. See, it has a name on it. Oh, I didn't mean to move the camera. See, it has a name on the outside of the box. Knowing me, like, I like to keep packaging, which is really not good. It's kind of giving um, hoarder vibes. 
but eventually I'll probably because I feel like if I throw the box away then I'm just gonna be unorganized because these little capsules are so small and so this is the day capsule that looks like a little pill and then here is the night capsule for the lips and the reason it's like bright red is because I had like a color on yeah anyways <laughs> this is really for bed so it should be clear but you see i broke the rules anyways um so i'm gonna put this daytime on because it's morning or afternoon rather um and show you guys how it is Obviously, you can do what you want, but I would recommend not drinking anything until the, until the, um, obviously, you can use a straw. So, if you use a straw, you can drink stuff, but if you're not using a straw, I wouldn't recommend drinking anything until the tingling goes away. Or for me, until I just, until the tingling goes away and I just take the product off my lips. I use a straw or a fountain. And most of the time... If I, because I work remote from home, so if I can't run across the living room to the kitchen and get a straw real quick, then I have found it. So for my water, I usually do that. But oh my God, my lips are tingling; they're on fire. Um, so yeah, it's doing what it's supposed to do, and I know that it's time to take the lip gloss off when it stops tingling. And it's done its job. It's given me this nice extra pucker, this like lip plumping. And then I put my lipstick on. I usually put a lip balm and then a lipstick. Or if I'm feeling like feisty, I'll put um, my lip balm on. And I let my lip balm sit for five minutes. <clears throat> so it's kind of like a makeup primer. But even with primer, we only let it sit for one minute. But I think that's because it's skincare. But anyways, um. It's really um, plumping it and it's really tingling really bad so it's tingling it's on my lips they're not I'm I was gonna be dramatic and say they're on fire they're not on fire and I know myself I don't have a high pain tolerance so if I can say they're not on fire and I have the pain tolerance of like a, a bug then it's not that bad because I don't have a high time pain tolerance like these people that say look I can take anything and cramps or nothing I was that person I used to hate cramps when I would get them thank god I don't really get them anymore I don't know why I think it's my birth control but when I did get them I was such a bait like my pain tolerance is low low to the flow so yeah um this result is why I give the lip plumpers a 9 out of 10 because it really does its darn thing like it has volumized definitely my bottom lip um, my bottom lips already big but what I the reason I wear it is for my top lip you see how skinny it is and it gives it that extra like boom especially at the top because even when I take it off that top part stays so I like that little pucker um, and I feel like my lips are plumped for the rest of the day so it's like a daily temporary lip injection and I'm black so I don't really need that but you see my my bottom lip is the thing is thing it but the top lip it needs some help so this is really for my top lip and that's okay <laughs> 